All right, guys, we are joined here by Jan Strickland. Now, she's not a stranger. She's come many times talking about some fun decor for different seasons. And, of course, it's spring, so we had to bring her on to show us some spring decorating. She's already got some on the table. Jan, thanks for joining us and bringing out all this spring Thanks so much decor. for having me, Abby. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. I love it. Spring is my favorite season. It's just so fun, all the colors. Love it, all the bunnies. So can you tell us a little bit about, you know, decorating for spring? What's kind of some trends people see or a lot of things that you maybe do in your home? So what I like to do is and you can see here I've got some local artists um, their art pieces that have those light you know bright spring colors and then this butterfly as well that will stay up in my home throughout the summertime yeah so I always like to think about that like the backdrop of the decorating to be something that can carry throughout you know spring and summer and then seasonally adding in the Easter bunnies so and cute. these little white chicks as well that kind and then the carrots and the eggs and that just brings in Easter yeah. you know what we're celebrating right now but then it's easy to take those away and have your backdrop you know be the lighter colors yeah. that can tra transition into summer yeah I love that you know I hadn't even thought about that how all the flower things mm -hmm. and stuff yeah, can really can just stay up yes it can stay up yeah. and so it's just always easy to have those and then just add the Easter bunnies and the eggs to those backdrop yes, pieces. Yes, I am. I keep telling her how obsessed I am with these little bunnies. They are so, yes, they're so, so cute. So texturing is yeah. always the key. And I've said this in, you know, past segments as well, but whenever you mix different textures, it adds so much visual interest. So here, you know, you've got the little fuzzy bunnies yeah. and then those little bitty ones that are just so cute that go along with it. But then also you've got the carrots that kind of have like more of that yarn yeah. texture and then the eggs, you know, are more smooth and so anytime that you just mix the textures it just creates visual interest and then also layering is important so you can see here I kind of set up three different vignettes but um the layering of them is so important to kind of have the larger piece in the back and yeah. then kind of bring it forward with smaller pieces. Yeah, I love it. It looks so good. Now I know with springtime, flowers is a really big thing. Mm -hmm. So what are kind of your thoughts on using maybe live flowers today? Great versus <laughs> some fake ones. What do you think on that? So, okay, so I brought some faux ones that are just really pretty and I personally, I love that because I don't have to worry, you know, about watering them yeah. and they can stay, but also you can decorate with both. So if you've got, if you, I, I love doing some flower arranging with live flowers every now and then. So I might like use this and then also add some yeah. fresh flowers to the mix. And again, it adds, you know, that visual interest to kind of have both. Yeah. And then you can take, and then you, and then, and yeah. then whenever the real ones die, cause you're not watering them properly. <laughs> Then you've got the, you know, faux ones in the back. Yeah, that's so. what I was thinking too. You could take this way. I don't <laughs> yes, really so have not, a so green it's not thumb. The end, yes, so. I mean, me, me neither. So it's not the end of the world if you yeah. do incorporate the, you know, live, the fresh ones and then you have the faux ones as well. So Yeah, I love that. And so last, I know we talk about this sometimes whenever you do these segments about kind of budgeting wise. And I know you talked about some local artists. So do you kind of do a mix of local artists? Yes. Also? So um, the key is always don't overspend on every item. Them. You yeah. know, these these bunnies were very inexpensive, but the art may be a little bit more pricier, but that's good because, you know, that's going to be the backdrop that stays. Mm -hmm. And then these are the pieces that you can take in and out. So you don't yeah. have to break the bank to really get that decorating. Yeah, look, so. it's good. You know, we're supporting small business, small yes, artists for too. Sure, for and then sure. also throwing in, you know, just some maybe some cheaper ones. Yeah, and that yeah, still yeah, looks great, yeah, for but sure. not as much. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I love that. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to go decorate for spring. Yay, it's going to be yeah. so fun can't wait and we thank you of course like always you always bring such good tips to go decorate your our home for the thank season you so much for it. having me happy yes of course all right take these tips heart and we are so excited thank you so much Jan for being here definitely go decorate for spring and all right stick around we will be right back